Good day. Zishi here. Another little uh, video on something a little different this time. Uh, another thing that I do with these sub frequencies make images, pieces of artwork. Um, so uh, I'll uh, talk a little about this and then I'll have a little video of me actually creating this piece. Um, but uh, before we get on into that, I'll just say happy holidays. Might as well belt out a little Christmas tune. Let's see, how about uh, Christmas is coming, the goose is getting fat. Please put a penny in the old man's hat. If you haven't got a penny, a half pence will do. If you haven't got a half pence, well, God bless you. We'll maybe dance along with Covering all the bases here. Um, so anyway, I'm back to a piece of artwork. I've been doing art ever since I was a little kid. For years, uh, scratched along, made a, some type of living at it. And in good years, I could make most of my income that way. But the last uh, four or five years, I uh, started working for the Census Bureau part-time. So that brings in most of my income these days. I still sell pieces, and uh, but uh, um, I've always, I've never been a very good business person <laughs> regarding anything, but ah, I sure I enjoy the different passions and interests, and they just seem to amplify as time goes by. Um, so with art, as with all forms of either expression or human activity, obviously there's a lot of different approaches one can have. I tend to be, uh, with most things, somewhat uh, erratic. Go here, go there. I uh, really enjoy all forms of human expression, as long as it's done with uh, uh, thought and uh, interest and wonder and respect for the and Earth and uh, our species at large. Um, so not to get too long-winded here, and then when I do a little video, I'll compress down the length of time that it took me to do this, this painting, which is uh, uh, acrylic on canvas, just stretch canvas, and it uh, uh, measures a, a 30 by 40 inches, so it's kind of a medium-sized work. And uh, it's fun working on different size uh, surfaces and supports. Um, a little about the uh, uh, painting, and I use oils and acrylics. I've used uh, numerous different uh, mediums through the years, and uh, um, I tend to do more two-dimensional uh, works, so though I sometimes do three-dimensional sculptural pieces. Uh, so. I use uh, oils and acrylics quite a bit. Uh, uh, in the winter, acrylics are nice because I don't have to vent. Uh, uh, they don't generate the, the fumes. I use uh, oftentimes turpentine with the uh, uh, oil paints. Uh, and these just mix with water. Um, a little on the palette, I use a fairly classical, uh, rather reserved uh, uh, palette. I use... Uh, uh, the blue I used on this, ultramarine, kind of a mid, tending slightly to uh, uh, the red in the spectrum, uh, but uh, um, not get too long winded there. <laughs> oh, electromagnetic waves, though, they're amazing. I mean, this whole thing of uh, being able to sense the world around us through uh, visual information with a visible light. Uh, and the uh, wavelengths that are coming through uh, from just between uh, infrared and ultraviolet is, uh, it's, it is mind-blowing in a way, <laughs> but it's totally cool. Um, so visible light and how we process light that comes uh, in uh, uh, wavelengths uh, 
is a, it's, it's different than paint, though obviously we see different, you know, colors of the rainbow, I think colors of the rainbow are a prism. Um, but uh, as far as the mixing uh, principles, it is different. Like think of like a TV, uh, I believe it's a, a red, blue, and green, and those give you the uh, colors on your TV. Whereas the classic principle primaries in uh, uh, with painting are red and uh, yellow and and blue. Those are those are the primaries, and so I always use those. In my palette, uh, red, the red I've got is a cadmium red uh, medium, it looks like. Uh, light's a nice uh, color as far as the, uh, the pure. And then uh, cadmium uh, yellow, I've got a Yemen, y Yemen, <laughs> yellow lemon and, uh, and a medium here. Uh, one tends to move, shift a little toward more toward blue, yellow, but I'm, I'm not going to get out in the weeds too far there. I, I, but, uh, but the process of painting is definitely built if you're using colors on mixing paints. I mean, you can, sometimes people buy a lot of different tubes, uh, but most artists uh, uh, tend to uh, do quite a bit of mixing. And you just mix uh, during the course of the painting. I've got a, uh, a violet here as well. Uh, that tends blue, obviously, um, and then a, a titanium white and uh, a burnt umber, burnt umber. So those are the several different seven paints that I've got. I painted this uh, specific uh, painting with a, uh, a one inch uh, brush, uh, just a nylon brush. Usually I'll use bristle brushes, uh, like hog bristle brushes for the oil paints. Um, and then, oh, and then I tend to, as with most things, I just kind of can improvise with certain things. Tools are important, but with palettes for a long time, I've, I've just used either plates. I use plates for oils because you can just wipe them on down. Or with the acrylics, I just uh, use uh, cardboard. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of cardboard drifting around the world. So I just create these uh, uh, just little squares, and then these are my palettes. I put the paint on the on the cardboard and then just mix it, but you can get some ideas. So these were the two palettes I used for this and uh, mixing a lighter or darker colors. Obviously you have colors, then you've got values, a few different things to think about uh, alongside the uh, compositional elements, depending on what you're trying to realize. I mean, with something that's a, a little more say mimetic of uh, reality or, so they may be tending somewhat toward realism. Um, you're interested in certain proportional elements and just uh, uh, creating an illusion of form through the uh, utilization of uh, uh, shapes and how they relate to one another. And then you realize that with a, a painting that's in color, through uh, uh, values, and, and values are just the, the tone, think of, of uh, lightness to darkness. So uh, like with, a, say, a black and white photograph, that's a good example of uh, values in, uh, uh, from a, just a, between the tonal range of white and black. And then all colors have values uh, as far as like yellow has less of a value range than blue, you can have a really light blue, but a very dark blue, whereas you can have a, a light yellow, but a, obviously you can have a highly saturated yellow, but it's not gonna be that dark per se from the standpoint of its values. I'm getting off, getting off on a tangent here, but, but suffice to say, all of these elements are put together you understand it's just like working on, well, maybe not quite just like working on your car, working on repairing an engine, putting up a, a stud wall in a house, uh, uh, doing an a, a open heart surgery. All, all the tasks and things that we do have certain approaches, means by which we can go about. Some are more efficient, some less so. Um, some things are more important to get it right. Painting, I mean, it's just paint on a surface. You can always over paint back over. In fact, actually, I started this work on a, a, a 
canvas that I'd painted a, uh, with a non-representational work. And uh, so I'd go back and paint on surfaces and paint on the backs of uh, surfaces, especially if I'm using uh, panels or, or uh, wood surfaces to paint on. So it really varies, but, uh, but anyway, I'll go ahead and have the little uh, uh, video here and do probably considerably less time than uh, my yammering on right now. Um, that said, uh, oh, it took me probably about two and a half hours or so to uh, complete this work from start to finish. I'll compress it down, obviously. I'm not going <laughs> to talk about paint drying. Though, for a painting this size, that's uh, in, in a reasonably... Uh, uh, both deftly and quickly done period of time. But uh, um, so anyway, I'll compress it down and you can get some sense of, of uh, at least uh, how I approach this specific painting. You can, there's a lot of different ways that you can go about building up a, a, a painted image or piece of artwork, but uh, I'm not gonna get into that, <laughs> at least on this video. Oh, that would take a, a multiple, uh, multiple, multiple, multiple sessions. Uh, very intriguing, though, man. The, this whole thing of, of living and uh, taking in information and thinking about things, pondering the universe. I mean, uh, uh, thinking about uh, uh, visible light and, and colors and uh, great German poet. Used to be people, uh, Renaissance person or man, whatever, uh, you, uh, they had uh, a, a variety of interests, and there was a point where art and science fairly overlapped. And uh, in Goethe's uh, uh, thoughts on uh, actually uh, uh, color theory and, and uh, uh, visible light, before we even referred to it as visible light, is, is very interesting. And uh, as, as is science at large, science is an amazing thing. I, I love science, they're never very strong. And, mathematics or physics, but man, I sure enjoy, and uh, oh, that new telescope they've got coming up, was it the Maxwell or something? That's, it's great thinking about the world, not getting too pinned down in a certain frame of reference. I mean, religion has its place, but it can be kind of stayed, and uh, anything that arrests us and uh, uh, doesn't allow us to uh, grow and shift and change, I think should always be looked at with a slightly arched eyebrow. But I'm not going to get too political here, crime any sake. <laughs> Watch yourself, see. All right, y'all have an awesome day. Happy holidays. And uh, thank you for watching the little video. All right. God bless you. Bye now.
Horton hears a who. Horton hears a who. Horton hears a who.
said that she had living siblings, but she was bride and disappeared, and her father also died. No changes to U.S. interest rates are expected to be announced today when the Federal Reserve wraps up its latest policy meeting. We hear several of the Fed is setting rate to close up the economy and interest rates from the end of the highest inflation in nearly 40 years. Inflation has been higher for longer than the last dog the Federal Reserve expected. And while the Federal Bank still thinks the price will really ease next year, it says it can't afford to take that for granted. Inflation in November was nearly three and a half times the Fed's 2% target. And while average wages have been... Organizations who use artificial intelligence to earn high sales have been previously unsolvable problems. Speak free AI.
and the Burton was the second as Hideaway was Omicron. A record number of conservative lawmakers revolted against Prime Minister Boris Johnson's plan to require vaccine proof for public venues.